Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, feels like it's been a while since we did a dyno overview video, huh? So, I did this car on the 5th, and just now getting around to loading up the dyno footage and doing some explaining. Wanted to go over it because this is actually a parallel install of a Terminator X. So, I thought this was funny that I, I tuned this car before on a stock computer, and he had swapped it over to Terminator and reached out to me to tune it again. I thought it was funny because I'm in the middle of, obviously, doing my 2500 with an integrated install with the stock computer and a Terminator also. So this car, pretty neat, Charles, it's a Trans Am, like a 99 or 02 or somewhere in between, I'm not exactly sure. Anyway, it has a VS Racing billet 88mm with the 88 turbine T6 turbo, it's running pump ethanol fuel, it has Bosch 210s in it. It is an Iron 370, uh, of which I don't think is very exotic with heads or intake. Almost looks like that's a LS1 intake from this picture. So, it has a T56 Magnum, and he has someone's 9-inch kit in the back of this. Not like a Fab 9, but what I call a Fab 9. So, it's a retrofit Ford 9-inch in the back. So, we just we opened it up and wanted to see how it would do. The only difficulty here is this car has twin 450s, and he has it set up, to my knowledge, after talking with him, to the best of its abilities. It has a 10 gauge wire for each pump, it has a separate 40 amp relay for each pump, and I think he's running it straight off the alternator or battery. But we just were running out of fuel in like the low 20 pound range, and we just rolled the dice for fun on the dyno to see what kind of power it was capable of at higher boost. I believe it had a four port on it. Uh, we'll know when we look over the logs if the duty cycle is very low and the boost is very high. So other than that, we quit at about 26 pounds of boost and made 966 rear wheel. Awesome, let's, let's get into it. Hopefully I remember to shut this. <laughs> So, hitting boost cut there, this thing was getting finicky at the end, uh, it had a four port on it, and we were on a fine line of, uh, I didn't want to overshoot the map sensor, it was a three bar, and it was, uh, like a small percentage would be a couple pounds of boost, so I definitely didn't want to go over on it and run clean off the map, and that's what we messed with towards the end, and that's when I finally got the camera out for this thing. So next pull here is I believe the successful 960-ish range.
So, we'll get into this. What do we got here? We got the stock ECU when I tuned it in 2017. And this was a billet 7875 on ethanol. And we maxed it out at 744 on the on this hit right here. So this was completely maxed out. We'll go engine speed and we'll show you guys torque. So this was the billet 7875 completely capped and did great for a while. Uh, I believe he said at some point he bent a rod and I forget the details of that, but he ended up going with the 370 about three years later and it gave me a ring to retune it. So he got it running, did everything himself. Charles is a extremely intelligent guy. So he did it before too. I believe he had this running and driving when he brought it. He just wanted me to do the touch up and then do the dyno numbers. So awesome. Thanks for coming back, Charles. <laughs> so this is all the Terminator hits. And I know, I think towards the end here, there were so many. Uh, I wanted to creep up on it. And then also... Uh, we just, it was like, like I always say, we're chasing the red mist. We obviously wanted four digits that we, uh, we both thought that would be awesome and doable, and it just wouldn't do it. Uh, some of you guys, you know, this stuff happens. You want four and you make like 960. If you guys watch the Colorado stuff that I did, that thing would do four horsepower of a thousand, you know, it would make 996, 992, and then I would push on it and it would break, so... And then where do we end up? Uh, well, this one. See, my my tack pickup was being a total pain in the rear that day. So we're going to turn off torque. We're going to turn it off. Yeah. So 15 was the last one where we just tried to, you know, get the boost as high as we could safely. So uh, this was the 7875. It obviously came in. A bit sooner but what's incredible is the 80 well, he, what did he have in it before I can't remember honest guys what engine it was in it before I think a stock iron 6 liter I don't think the LS1 was in it on this hit so pretty much the same cubes what's interesting is uh, it made a little bit less but was capable of quite a bit more power and honestly I'd like to see this thing come back with a 4 bar sensor and for us to run like 33 pounds through it because I think it was still gaining we were just nervous about running out of map sensor because a three bar most three bars will go 28 sometimes they'll read 31 depending on barometric but uh, I believe we were you know getting pretty close to the end of the map and uh, he was like you know 960 I guess I'll just have to live with it that's always our joke right 966 you're just gonna have to live with it all right so this was our first hit on the roller and uh, lately I try to make this stuff exact so that's hit number one and do 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 six psi made 517 this says so we roll in here how does all of my stuff get changed every time you know, I just don't want to see map at all. I want to see boost. Like boost PSIG. Where are you? Can I just have boost? Boost PSIG. That's what I want. Yeah, we can do target and then we can do... Oh, you know... I have to redo this every time. I think I just updated the not that long ago to the newest version and I've been using that, but I didn't dump in all of my... Let's look at closed loop compensation here. Let's look at injector duty cycle here. RPM and TPS is fine with me. What else do we want to see? What was he running? We weren't running target. So what, where's my output that I was using? Mm, maybe we were targeting at first, so I'll have to change that later. 
I believe we were trying to make a target and we didn't want to chase our tail. We were having issues with it being exact. So we changed it. So closed loop comp. Wow, throwing 49% in here. Isn't that crazy? So that was up top 6,600, six pounds, throwing in a ton of fuel. Uh, only 27% duty, 18 pounds, or 18 degrees, and it made 517. So that's a great result. So here, I believe partway through, I, I switched over to manual boost control, and that's what we'll try to add to the data logs. So number three, yes. Right here it says I did, it says closed loop test. So we were messing with the closed loop quite a bit, it looks like. Yeah, this uh, 13 pounds. I believe we just were not getting the target we wanted. See, I threw a bunch of fuel in it up top, obviously, too, uh, within 1%, uh, 12 degrees, 12 and 12 nearly, and it still made 644. And then where, let me look at the data logs to see. So here I started doing raw duty cycle because I couldn't get what I wanted down low. So here I entered 35% duty and that was 10 pounds and it made 580. So that was pull number five. So if we bring that up, yep, 580. And then we bring up the log and we go to this area, we can check it out. So now we're getting a really steady nine or 10 pounds, closed loop, 6%, very good. Everything else looks good, timing is low because we're shaking her down. It still made 580. So, let's check out another log name. Uh, we went up pretty quick to 15 pounds here. Pull number seven, 15 PSI. Yeah, averaging about 15 pounds, closed loop, very tight. 15 pounds, 16 degrees, 745. Which was that? Number seven, yep really come into life and then we jumped right to the low 20s 21 psi made 866 rear wheel so let's also add the manual boost output should be in here now oh where are you boost solenoid duty hmm it's a custom output that I set up. Not sure it should be here. Maybe I'm just having a little bit of a, I call it dyno boost most of the time. Could it be like stuck somewhere? I'm sorry guys. Hmm. The tapping is my wood stove vent. I'm sorry if you can hear that. Hopefully it's kind of far enough away that you can't hear it. Boost scramble, boost, uh, I don't know guys. We'll just, we just won't worry about the exact percentages. So, uh, up here you can see 20 PSI, uh, adding about 11% on the closed loop, 10%, eight, nine, up top it has a decent amount. So this thing did not take a bunch of ignition at all. It was really making great power on lower ignition. Uh, 20 pounds, 14 degrees up top, and 54% of the injector. One of the big things was this thing was losing fuel pressure then. That's one thing we can show you. Man, I am just not having a great time with uh, putting the things in that I want, fuel pressure. Yeah, so here, 57, 66, 65. See, even at, even at, 866 it was nosing slightly and then uh, you can see closed loop on the other pulls was starting to catch up so duty cycle kinda doesn't add up after this because we were running out of fuel pressure and this is just where we debated we moved back and forth a little bit and then you know I'm like well it's up to you we can we can just lean on it on the dyno they're shorter hits with the fuel pressure falling off shouldn't be that big of an issue as long as we're not pinning the closed loop function. So number 12, what do we do with number 12? Let's just open it up, take a look. 
number 12 here. We did hit 23 pounds. Uh, you can see fuel pressure is already on the way down. 68 here, 60, 59, 57. Oh yeah, it's falling off, good. So yeah, uh, up to almost 26 up top. Uh, I don't have much ignition in it. Again, it's, it's making really good power with no ignition. Uh, fuel pressure nosing. He's going to investigate that and maybe bring it back. Or like we said, again, just laugh about having that much power and uh, being annoyed with. So what do we, th we threw the book at it to make 966 or what? Just to see if it would. What happened? I don't know. Let's take a look till you tell me. So, 26. yeah, we went, uh, I did not want to go over 28. I didn't feel safe going much over 28. Because like I said, sometimes a three-bar map will pin there. You don't know unless you can bench rig it and see what it actually tops out at. So roughly 28 pounds up top. And what I did is I kept giving it more duty cycle as the car would wind out in RPM so it wouldn't kill the fuel. So if I gave it way too much boost down low, it would just want to drain the rails. So I just tried to sneak, just creep that boost in hard. And then you can see fuel pressure was in the 40s already. It was just falling like a rock. So about 28 pounds and 12 degrees did 966. So it seems like this thing wanted to keep going. We just did not have stable fuel and, and uh, yeah, of course, laughed about it. And, you know, he left with nine and change. So this thing on like 20 pounds have fairly rock solid fuel pressure. And it was capable of like eight and change to the tire right there. So all he's got to do is get some fuel and this turbo and combo seems like it wanted more boost. So... If you have any questions, let me know. That's about it. Really awesome setup, I think. Clean car. Uh, there's not many super high horsepower six speeds like this. And he did an excellent job with the integration. Pretty much everything in the dash works. Uh, not, not too awful because it was a six speed car to begin with. So there wasn't much else to tap into or control.